What up, it's your boy T Bear here with the reaction. About to do another top 10 anime. This is the top 10 best anime transformation sequences. So, if you want, if, I'm just reading about it. If you want to transform yourself in real life, was easy. We, they're going to count down the, their picks for the top best transformation sequences. So, this is from Watch Mojo. So, let's check it out. My cool things like Goku, Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan transformation, or. The, uh, the monkey transformation thing is called Azura, Azuru, whatever. But um, let's check it out. If only transforming yourself in real life was this easy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best anime transformation sequences. You are not the only one who carries a mighty weapon, vampire. This list isn't about the overall look of the Ooh, transformation, oh. but rather its significance in the anime series or film, how unique it is compared to others, and the Same impact moment. it has on the anime as a whole. We only looked at sequences you can see happening on screen, so anything hinted at or done behind closed doors is out. Demon. We're also gonna have to slap that spoiler alert on here because one of these transformations may be pretty heavy on the plot points. That being said, let's grab our magical lockets or dig deep into the depths of our souls to channel our hidden energy because we got a countdown to do. You have to show. Number 10, Yusuke's Ancestral Demons. Yu Yu Hakusho. But you were, well, you were definitely dead, I swear it. Your heart stopped beating. I double checked. Most transformations are something that the character wants to happen, right? Well, in the midst of a seemingly unwinnable battle against former spirit detective Sensui, we find that Yusuke's ancestor is the Demon King Raizen. What is that? You fool. At last. After being killed in battle, Yusuke's dead body is resurrected by his newly discovered demonic energy. Yusuke was fine with that, but then Raizen took it a bit too far by completely taking over his body, causing a powerful transformation that oh, led to shit. him killing Sensui. Ooh! Damn, damn, damn! Damn! Woo! As Yusuke is forced to take the final shot, he snaps out of it and tries to fight back, but it's already too late. Part of you that was ready to make the choice must have taken control, but it was definitely you, a demon you, who killed me. Number nine, Priscilla's Awakening, Claymore. We have never met Teresa. I am Priscilla, and the organization has given me my emblem and raised me to the ranking of number two. Some characters have access to great power, but that doesn't mean they should tap into it. Priscilla, I want you to focus all of your power into taking the life of that murderer. Now go. Claymores are half-human, half-Yoma hybrid warriors who, despite having massive power within their Yoma side, shouldn't use it too much or else they'll completely lose themselves. <laughs> No warrior has ever possessed such incredible raw ability. There's no telling how powerful she could become. Case in point, Priscilla. Oh, After shit. a battle against the vastly more powerful Teresa, Priscilla is left in an unrecognizable state due to using 70% of her yoki. Oh, God. Her self-awareness is fading quickly. She begs Teresa to finish her off, but it's debatable whether or not she meant it since she immediately beheads Teresa when she gets the chance and Damn. completely gives in to her demonic power. After all of that activity, I've worked up quite an appetite. Shit. Well then, yeah, just give me Number eight, one of God's monsters, Helsing Ultimate. Show me more, Alexander Anderson! <laughs> How far is too far when it comes to being a man of God? Well, vampire hunter Father Anderson shows us just how far is too far. Even with all his fanaticism and scripture quoting, rival Alucard still has a great respect for the man, until this moment. Anderson! Stop it! Do you know what that thing will do to you? You'll become one of God's monsters. Maintain your humanity. After stabbing himself with the nail of Helena, Anderson became something other than human. Oh, shit. Anderson, what in God's name have you done 
I definitely can't wait to see the rest of the people watching the Dead The creature yeah. formerly known as Anderson is terrifying, even to Alucard. After defeating him, Alucard actually mourned the death of his former enemy, because up until that point, Anderson had something that was forever out of the vampire's grasp. Humanity. I was just the same! <sighs> Don't you understand? This is how I became what I am! Number seven, Mitsuki asks for a miracle. Full moon, wow, shakashite. Mm. It's no secret that magical girl transformations are a huge staple in anime, and we'll talk more about them later. But this particular one is absolutely heartbreaking. Wow. Mitsuki wishes to become a singer, but not only does she have a tumor in her throat, the two Shinigami she meets inform her that she only has one year left to live. Mitsuki mm. doesn't transform into a magical girl in the conventional sense. There's no superpowered attacks, and no team of warrior women out to save the world. Instead, Mitsuki transforms into a healthy 16-year-old girl who sets out to fulfill her dreams before she dies. Wow. Number six, Pokemon Evolutions. Oh, here Pokemon. We go. Evolution isn't just an important factor in Pokemon, it's key to any series that revolves around battling monsters. Evolution causes Pokemon to gain a power boost, or ego boost, and a new set of moves in one or several steps as they strive wow. to become the very best like no one ever was. Wow, it's a Thunderstone! A Thunderstone? Yes, you can use it to make Pikachu evolve into a Raichu! Unlike the video games, the anime lets the Pokemon evolve during battle, and they can even choose to not evolve at all. Hence, Ash's Pikachu not taking the next step, and Team Rocket's Meowth just staying the way he is. It still really hasn't explained why Ash hasn't evolved past the age of 10, and he thinks he's going to be the best. Right. Congratulations, Charmander! I mean, Charmeleon! Ah. Uh. Number five, Titan Transformations. What? Attack on Titan. What? Ah! There's no one who hates Titans any more than Aaron Yeager. So it's quite the disturbing dose of irony when he gets eaten by one early on in the series. proved us wrong when he channeled his anger from within, and we really mean from within. He's in the Titan's stomach when he transforms into the very thing he hates, and he lets his rage and fists do the talking. Wow. We still don't have all the answers, but what we do know is that Aaron begins to learn how to use his newfound power, until that female Titan comes along, which leads to another crazy transformation. Hey, we warned you about spoilers. Your name is Annie Leonhardt. Wow. Number four, hollow on the inside. Oh, I can't wait to see more end. So he so turns a turn. Why have I come all this way? It's all for nothing if I don't win. Admit it, you have a bit of an evil streak. Don't deny it, man. We read the comments. Everyone gets that little voice inside them that whispers something bad from time to time. Most of us know how to tune it out. But in Ichigo's case, his nefarious side is a bit more difficult to deal mm, with. That's what that that was going to know. Uh, uh, on talk to anime. Yes, Battle. it was. Wow. I was surprised to find you were still carrying this object around. That's because it has a mind of its own. And it's tempting to give in when it always shows up when he needs it the most. Wow. <laughs> you look crazy. <laughs> I laugh at What a complete amateur you are. Couldn't you tell? Even so, it's incredibly dangerous to rely on this part of him for tough battles. Which makes sense since it is a bit, uh, well, malicious doesn't quite cover it. That and Ichigo doesn't want an unfair advantage. Let go! Don't need you. Stop interfering! You're the one who's interfering! Don't you get it? I was about to kill him! Number three, Tetsuo's mutation. Akira. What's wrong? Akira. Are you okay? Oh, it's pronounced Akira. Okay. It's nothing. This fetus baby transformation is damn near historical in the world of anime. As much as we might want his power of telepathy for ourselves, Ooh. the side effects are a bit of a turnoff. <laughs> Oh, shit! There is a slow buildup of Tetsuo losing control of his abilities, but no one was prepared for how horrific the final transformation would be. 
he becomes a giant, grotesque mass of flesh and blood that engulfs everything it comes into contact with, including both his best friend and oh. girlfriend. My body's not doing what I tell it to! My power's acting on its own! Oh! It's not just the visuals, but the painful wails that make the entire transformation terrifyingly mesmerizing to watch. Ooh. Holy shit! Number two, champion of love and justice, Sailor Moon. We know the song, both English and Japanese, and just saying makeup makes a lot of fans want to strike a pose. It certainly isn't the first magical girl transformation, but it's definitely the series that popularized the genre all over the world. There's no denying the influence the Sailor Scouts have had, not just on fans, but for anime in general. We expect all magical girls and boys to have glamorous transformations, epic speeches, and kick-ass attacks thanks to pretty sailor named Sailor Moon. Before we check out the final form on our list, let's watch the transformations of these honorable mentions. Okay, I got a lot of the killer kill, I see. Same thing, take us a chance to make it I want to be number one. Number one. Super Saiyan! Sailor Moon. Oh, this transformation man. inspired yes. an entire generation of anime fans. It's over 9,000! 9,000! There's no way that could be right! Sure, it doesn't have the magical pens or a time sequence, but it looks cool with the green eyes and blonde hair. Or black or red or blue. It's not just the impressive strength increase, but the fact that it requires Saiyans to harness the power within themselves to master it. From dealing with a great loss to pushing yourself to the limit to nonchalantly pulling it off, it's a power that every anime character strives to achieve, and one that continues to influence the genre. <laughs> With our list, which transformation so is most memorable to you? For more top tens published every day, be sure to channel yeah. your energy and subscribe to WatchMojo.com. If they had tried uh, Sailor Moon transformation, I think at least our mission, the Ronin Word, should be on there though, because that's my favorite transmission. Oh my world, don't they should have added that on there. That would have been awesome. They, and if they had a chill of on there, that should have been on there. At least I'm a mission, though, in my opinion. But other than that, good, good top 10 right there, though. The Sacred Sin number one. That was awesome, though. Now, and I see what's going on. I want, I want info from some of these new animes I'm starting to watch now. Wait, new, but I am hey, starting to get into now. Like Attack on Titans and Hellsang. Oh, man. I got some way to find the dub version of Kill a Kill. But other than that, Awesome. So, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. It's your boy T-Bird signing off. One love.